Had to refill the alcohol chat. <sighs> Good night, man. Good to hear you play. Could play Rage again. That's <laughs> all right, Bolus. You take it easy, dude. Coin archaeologist. Uh, all right, so it looks like it's tempo. A looky looky tempo tempo could be tempo. If it's control, it's an auto win. How is it an auto win, dude? His whole deck is dragon fury potions, meteors, blizzards, flame strikes. They can't clear Whispering Woods, Soul of the Forest. Mm -hmm. They can. Double Dragon Spirit. Someday I'll be just like you. Wow, nice hand, Rob. Question of the day. Do I attack the Sorcerer's Apprentice to, so then I can swipe the 2-3 and it kills both of them? Or am I going to be using Oaken Summons? This will be good. I'm going to assume I'm going to be swiping next turn. Now he's going to play a secret, and it's going to be Counterspell, and I'm going to cry. Hey, look, secret off the top. Is the secret off the top of the deck going to be a Counterspell chat? Are we going to be really upset? No. So it's going to be a uh, explosive. Question, do we go Nourish here? Oh, yes. I could go Oaken Summons, though. But I think Nourish for mana and then Wild Growth is, like, the sickest. That's so sick. Because now we can play Malfurion and then um, kill this Life Drinker next turn. And then go two Taunts. <sighs> Sets up for better future plays. Oaken summons is good, but if it gets fireballed, we we have no turn six play. Frostbolt. Has to be frostbolt. But can't fireball with that mana. Okay, so now we just armor up. It's fine. Enough urine is really important in this matchup. It unfreezes my hero, right? It does. So I can attack now. It's not like you can double fireball me, so I should be fine. And one of these is going to be counterspell, which means next turn I should go Whispering Woods, and then I go with the Oaken Summons, and then I go Hero Power. We have many secrets. Counterspell. Now we can summon. Pay attention, class. Just in case it's vaporized. An incredible discovery. That's gonna be another counter spell. <clears throat> I guess we can play Sea Giant, right? Because it'll live. And then we can trade into the two, the four two, and then hero power for mana. I'm gonna assume this is a counter spell. Indeed, you do. Play around Meteor. Play around Explosive. Cool beans. I don't think we can lose in this situation. You need to draw staff right now. What up, Canada? Rip superior minion placement. <laughs> oh no! What happened to all? What happened to all my things? 
Oh no. So I either go nourish draw or I play sea giant. I think nourish draw is actually better. And the reason being is we can draw into cards like uh, savage Wars and stuff. And we can just win the game. Sea giant's good, but violet teacher represents a lot more damage than just eight. So this is going to be explosive. And also, like, if we would have saved the teacher and played this, and then we try to play teacher, she dies. <clears throat> this is basically just six armor. They still have a stupid amount of armor gain. Stupid amount of armor gain, chat. Oh my god, so much armor gain. I could have killed the 2-3, but I actually heal more this way, and if he kills the Sea Giant, that's fine. Because <clears throat> if this does 2 and I take 2, it's exactly the same amount of damage. I don't know how we haven't uh, drawn a savage or a branching paths yet. We still have two savage ores and two branching paths in our deck, guys. That's almost 50% of our deck. The reason I did this play is we got an extra minion out of the deal. We're actually dead to double fireball. Y'all, you give my wins back. This deck's actually too hard for me. I don't want to. Up, oh, never mind. It's too late. I like how the button kind of went sideways when I clicked on it. Like I had an option. You had exact lethal either way. No, no, no. You don't understand. Another mage. Keep wrath to deal with early mana worms. Sorcerer's apprentice. Oaken summons is nice. Nourish is cool. Spreading plagues is eh. So we're looking for basically the other Oaken summons. Malfurion. You know, a couple wild gross. Keep it heated in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Athena. Seriously though, 72 viewer host. That's huge. Good for you. I'm glad you had a good stream today. You should play hand druid it's tier one i don't want to play tier one decks if you've ever tuned into literally any of my streams before you know that i don't like playing tier one decks i don't like playing what are the best decks in the game so that really doesn't do anything like it only proves that you can win with the best decks in the game that's a given they're the best decks in the game <laughs> you know what i mean so like, cube like we never played cube block, we never played shutter, we never played any of that shit. Quest rogue, like whatever the best decks are, we don't play those, for the most part. I know token druid's pretty good right now. Oh, 
Oh, uh, dude, CAD. It's, um... <laughs> so, when people recommend decks, like, they, they say exactly what you say, and, like, they'll use whatever websites, and they'll stand by their statements. Like, you used it sarcasm, or sarcasm there, right? But some players will actually be dead fucking serious. Like, I saw this on, you know, this website that it's tier one. You need to play this deck. And I'm like, dude, I don't want to play the deck. It sucks. So like, no, 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 it's tier one. So I don't even like argue anymore. I just, just say I don't want to play the deck. All right, so I, obviously it's going to be a counter spell, but I, we should probably just target it anyway, just in case. Yeah. Begins. Some people are like super, like they'll stand by their fucking like Murloc control cube warlock they'll be like it's tier two bro you gotta try it i won like four games at rank 23. <laughs> i'm like dude i don't want to play that shit. <laughs> so we're gonna go nourish mana spreading plague and hopefully that's enough and ideally hopefully he doesn't rip um another counter spell Quest Warrior is really good, Zach. Highly recommend. So the question is here, chat. Do I go living mana, right? Or do I go nourish into mana, into hero power, into spreading plague? So the living mana is better now. Because then it goes trade. Trade, trade, trade. He has one minion left. So the Nourish play is better in the future. The Living Mana play is good right now. This is, uh... Because Living Mana is going to... It's going to make five dudes. I'm pretty sure it's Living Mana. Because the reason being, if he gets counterspell, I lose game. And plus, this sets up for a decent C giant. Depending on how he trades. If he doesn't trade, that's okay, because I get good trades now. And it sets up a great C giant to pop this explosive. If he doesn't play this card in his hand, then this card is either going to be a fireball, a pyroblast, or an explosive rune. Next turn, I go to five. That should be fine, right? I don't need to go to six. Nice. Glad I didn't trade. That sucks, though. I was really hoping it wouldn't kill. I guess he would have pinged it regardless. He's going to ping one of these, then. reason I didn't kill Mana Worm, though, is because he has to use two spells to get it buffed, and he only has two cards in his hand. Meanwhile, the Kirin Tor is a four attack, so it basically gets plus one attack if he doesn't use two spells, and two spells is the max, which means it equals a Kirin Tor anyway. You know what I mean? So, let's say he uses both spells, it turns into a Kirin Tor. So, this was an Explosive Runes, by the way. And because I am so confident in my ability to read cards at this being a explosive 100% of the time I will go whispering holy shit it was a counter spell this man is a genius he literally just didn't play counter spell how how that's so good he literally just didn't play a card you guys understand that turn He literally just didn't play a card. Let's see. That 
That is crazy, dude. He had five mana. Or, yeah, he had five mana. He drew a counter spell and he just didn't use it. Six mana, one five taunt. Pog champ! I blocked it because basically this is five damage. So it's basically a six mana gain five armor. I wonder what that is. Is this another counter spell chat? Not counter spell. Anytime uh, this game wants to draw me a Malfurion and or a swipe, you know, that would be uh, great. Be just like you. So if he draws Pyroblast, I lose. All right, I don't lose anymore. The circle of life is over. Light and rot. Yeah, it was either draw swipe or draw Malfury in there. We're at kind of like bottom 10 of our deck. We got to draw one of those three eventually. You know what I mean? He's just waiting for his staff right now. That's all he wants is his staff. If he gets his staff, the game's actually a game again. If he doesn't get staff, then we should be fine. Pyroblast? Fireball. Okay. <clears throat> oh, we're definitely using armor up every turn. Play that. So what is it? Whispering... We should have lethal next turn. Between Savage or Power of the Wild, we should be Gucci. He actually just made my board better. How much damage is that? Should be lethal, right? I don't. This is seven. I'm just going to assume. play until the deck loses did somebody ask a free-to-play question i hope they never make adventures again adventures were basically just shitty expansions <laughs> i'm not gonna lie adventures were like the laziest thing ever it's like what can we do to print less cards and delay expansions and still charge money Oh, yes, that's right. We can make adventures. I honestly think they should do the same thing as magic. Four sets a year, not three sets. Three sets is not enough. Four sets a year, one of them every three months. Do patch updates every two weeks to each month. And then also have a game format that changes every like month and it's called like I, I don't know just have it like a basically a block of three expansions you have your basic set and then it randomly picks three expansions or three yeah three expansions and then that's the format so you have standard format wild format and this rotating format so you know if you're tired of standard in the three months because they're going to print four sets a year you have this every month you get to play in this brand new meta that randomly picks a block of you know three expansions It'd be so sick. That'd be so cool. But no. What do we get? Firefly.
It'd be so cool. The reason that this, I don't want to say this game is dying, but it's not growing anymore, is because they don't do anything with it. It's the same game it was, what, four years ago? They've changed nothing. They've added nothing. There's not even tournament, there's not even a tournament server or a tournament mode within the game. Didn't Warcraft have that like 10 years ago? <laughs> like they've literally added nothing. They've, they've, they added Tavern Brawl. They haven't even reintroduced what was it it was that that was that cool mode that you could um pay a thousand gold and you could go for packs it was like super pack awesome nicks or something like you had to get like a bunch of wins like 10 wins or something you could queue into a deck what i don't even know what it was called people don't even remember anymore because it doesn't fucking exist you guys know what i'm talking about though you used to if you won you got 50 packs you had to go like six and oh or eight and oh or something like that it was like arena, but you queue with your own deck. It was super sick. This man has six minions on turn fucking three. You're about to get fucking shat on. Thank you, Hyper. Heroic Brawl. That's exactly what I was looking for you to say. All right, best card we could possibly draw, Wrath. Or Power of the Wild. Why wouldn't you clear on four? Because what am I going to do? If I go Whispering Woods, he just destroys me. This way it sets up tutus that can now trade into his minions. This is unfortunate. Trade. 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 Three. Do I ever coin hero power one of these one ones? That always happens. So it's trade, 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 trade. I go to four, then I go to five. Yeah, I don't know about that. Or right, it's trade, trade, face. Now nah, I got to trade, trade, trade. Dungeon Run and Monster Hunter are dead. They need something long-term that people might play. Yeah, it's a, a rotating three-block expansion. A rotating three-block format. I need another swipe. Or spreading. I actually have spreading plague. Keck XD. Point spreading plague. GG. I don't even have to coin it anymore. This summons... Yes. Nope. So this goes into here. I guess we could probably play our control druid. We gotta hope he doesn't have level up. He probably has level up. He always has level up. They always have level up. Which means we need to draw savager or something. So he's gonna hero power level up. Fuck me. <sighs> Why are these games always so hard, chat? Our worst draw is Violet Teacher. Thank you, game. That's really what I fucking wanted, was the other Violet Teacher. So now I can't Oaken Summons you. <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything. Fuck this game. I am ready to learn.
You don't run weapon destruction. He's gonna. Uh, he can kill Violet Teacher with a double trade. Not gonna double trade, just space. Alright, so Soul of the Forest, really good. Sea Giant. I meant to learn. I meant to learn. Instruction begins. All right, let's do this. Come on, keep pushing. Don't get shut down. Keep the pressure. Please don't have another level up. He only has two level ups in his entire dick. Speak Don't do me dirty. Alright, no level up or he would have used it before. Alright, best draw, Malfurion. Second best draw, Swipe. Actually, best draw is Swipe. Second best draw, Malfurion. I'm not worried about it. We're gonna draw swipe. Here it is. Swipe. Boom. No. No swipe. Peek a B and B. Hero power is better. I shall do as you say. Reporting for duty. What up, Mr. Sinister? A close game. There's now no duplicates in my deck. So. <sighs> what would Uther do? Let's get in there. He's gonna draw King Crush, dude, my dude. He's gonna rip big. Oh my God, Storm Wind Champion for the kill. He's moving in. He's pushing eight damage. He only needs three more. Does he have the three damage chat? Is he BMing for an additional lull factor? No? Up, oh, he had it the whole time. Cool, dude. Was there any play I could have done last turn? That would have stopped. That? I don't know. There's so many good cards in our deck we could have drawn there, but we drew none of them. 